It's kind of getting late. Are you sure it's okay for you to be out right now? No, no, don't worry. My parents basically gave up on me last year. <laughs> okay, queen. <laughs> so, how was your day today? Pretty good. Not much really happened. Mm. I think I did well on my math test. Mr. Passerman's the worst. <laughs> I wish we were in the same class. I know. Me too. Okay. All I'm saying is you could have tried a little harder. Okay, well, I wanted to be in AP Psych. Mm. But at least we have English together. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> so how was your day? Pretty average as well. I think Jeremy likes me. Okay, what? Yeah, I don't know. He just snaps me a bunch and he asked me to come over on Friday. What? <laughs> Why the hell didn't you lead with that? <laughs> I don't know. I just remembered. <laughs> okay, well, what'd you tell him? I haven't responded yet. Do you want to see him? I mean, like, yeah? Yeah, no? I don't know. <laughs> I'll say yes and then decide day of if I'll go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. You do you, love. Whatever <laughs> makes you happy. Oh, I have to tell you about this room I had last night. Ooh, what did you have? Okay, so, like... I'm on this beach, and I'm just kind of like laying there, taking in the sun, and you know, I get there, and there's not really anyone else around, or at least not visible to me. And I can vaguely hear the sounds of the ocean, but like not too loud that it's annoying. And for once, everything is fine. No stressful relationship, no work to do, no responsibilities. I'm just like fully living in the moment. Then this, like, wave of calmness washes over me, and I fall into a deep sleep. And then I wake up, feeling refreshed and everything. I don't know. I guess my subconscious just needed, like, a spa day. Whoa. That's nice. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I had a really good dream. Yeah. Me neither. Hmm. Does our friendship cause you stress? Oh. No. No, it doesn't. I love you. I promise. Uh, good. I love you, too. <laughs> Is everything okay with Dan? Yeah, they're they're good. I don't know. It's just it's difficult sometimes. Like I have my own set of needs, and he has his, and sometimes they just don't line up. We fight, he cries, and then we make up. I mean, it's okay because that's just like what you do when you're with someone else. Things are going well though. Okay. It sounds like you're thinking about it in a healthy way. Yeah. Don't worry. If things start to get really bad, I'll tell you. I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of late. I should get back. Oh, yeah. No worries. And I'm seeing you again on Thursday, so it's all good. glad we woke up for this. Such a good idea. <laughs> I know. I'm also happy the weather complied. Yeah, it's been a pretty shitty couple days. <laughs> Damn, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. So what have you going on the next couple days? Not much, just a couple tests. Thank God the semester is almost over. <laughs> Tell me about it. Do you think you can come to my piano recital? Yeah, of course. Thanks. You're just the best. I know. <laughs> Seriously, you don't have to. It'll be like three hours and I'm only playing for like five minutes. You don't have to come, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll be there. <laughs> and maybe we can get takeout after? Mm. Sounds amazing. How is this like even real? Hmm. I mean, it's just great. I have you, I have little muffins, I have strawberries. I mean, like, what more could I ask for? I love you. I love you too. I don't know. 
I'm just, I'm worried it's all gonna fade away at some point. What do you mean by that? I'm happy to be here, right now. Me too. Can you pour me some milk, Shay? I think you just need to focus on the present. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like something my therapist would say. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're in agreement. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm tired. I literally have hours of work left to do today. Oh, God, that sucks. Yeah. How do you know how much? Oh, I do. I was just like skim it. <laughs> Don't be silly. What are you up to this weekend? Not much. Probably see Tan for dinner. You? Hmm. Fun. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe bike to the beach. Why not? Hmm. How are things with Dan? Good. He's just been kind of stressed and sad recently. Yeah, it's a rough time. Yeah, and then it just sucks because. I have to be sad with him. No, you don't. Of course I don't. It's just like what has to happen. Okay, but what can you stop right now? Not really. And then it just sucks because, like, whenever I play piano, he gets upset with me. What do you mean? Well, like, if I see him in the morning, I have a lesson at night, he's sad at night. Well, that's illogical. Of course it is. And then I find myself getting nervous to come home after lessons because I'm worried I'm going to have to deal with him. And it's not like this burden on me, but it's just hard. Doesn't that seem wrong? Yeah, I don't... But why does he have to get upset? I don't know. Maybe he's jealous. I, I feel it's bad. It's worse. <laughs> okay, why? Do you really think he's just going to change one day? What do you mean? You do this thing where you see the good in people. Okay. But really, all they're doing is hurting you. Relationships are, are tough. We fight, yes. I'd be more concerned if we didn't. Fighting implies that you're hurt. Sure, it hurts, but I'm handling it. Really? And there isn't a winner. It's more complicated than that. Okay, look, I'm not trying to... I don't know why I'm still in this, but for whatever reason, I, I can't end things. I don't know if I'm weak or stupid or just wrong, but I can't. I, I, I just can't. Okay. I just hate seeing you this way. Yeah. But you can always talk to me. Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just kind of out of it for a second. No, it's fine. You, you have to practice. Yes, but definitely not while we're doing work. I mean, yeah, you have a point. Are you nervous? Yeah, kind of. There's just so much uncertainty. Like, I could do a perfect run the night before and then completely fuck up the performance. And other than eat three meals and get some sleep, there's just not much else I can do. That's rough. But I'm sure you'll do great. Thanks. Are we still good for tomorrow night? Yes. I just can't come till like 10.30. Oh. Isn't that a little late for a school night? Yeah. I just have to get one more lesson in.
But I'm excited to see you. Give my hands a break. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. For what? For tomorrow. I don't want you to think that I'm like. No, it's fine. And I just don't want you to like think that I something. Don't worry. I I don't. Okay. Good. It just sucks because I like seeing you. I know, and I like seeing you too. And I just kind of have to do this. No, I understand it. It's cool. Cool. What? It's cool. I don't know. You, you just normally say cool when something's wrong. What do you mean? Well, at that time when I was hiking and I had no cell service, but you thought I was ghosting you, you texted me saying cool. What do you want me to say? It's all right. It's cool. Whatever. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just hungry. Okay. It's a tough time, really. Goldfish? Mm, yes. <sighs> I should go print out this essay and give it to Mr. Johnson. Oh, good luck. I heard he's a hard grader. Tell me about it. We're good, right? Yes, we're good. Great. We're cool. <laughs> Hello, sleepyhead. Scramble? Yes, please. We should do this more often. Yeah, that'd be nice. It makes the rest of the day more bearable. Oh, that's sweet. Is everything okay? Kinda. Dan's just pissed. I had to push back our date an hour. Why was he mad? He said something about me not prioritizing our relationship. Really? He says I don't care enough. How? You're literally with him all the time. You're the best boyfriend. Like, any guy or girl would be thrilled to have you. Thanks. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Of course. Sounds great. Really. Yeah, of course. Thank you. I just don't know what to do. Really? What do you mean? I think you know what to do, you just don't want to say it out loud. No. I genuinely don't know what to do. I mean, I love him, and when we're together, things are great. Like, that really hasn't changed. Okay, but... And yes, we have our problems, you know, but we learned from them. And I guess, it's growth. just... And sometimes our wants just don't align, and you have to recognize that when you're in a relationship. Like, it just gets hard. What is? Being with him. It doesn't have to be hard all the time. It's not hard all the time. You get in fights every day. And about what? I don't know, just like, like a fucking little... piano? It's not that. Dan knows how much that means to me. He's hurting you. Can't you see that he's hurting you? Yeah. So why are you still with him? Because I love him. Yeah. Love doesn't need to be that hard. What makes you the love master? What? What deems you the love czar? You, you just don't get it. Really? Hayden, you text me ten times a day. What pieces of this story could I possibly be missing? You just don't understand. And sometimes I don't really either. Then why stay? I don't know. If you were in love, it would... I don't know why I'm doing this, and I can't really explain it, but I need this. I need this relationship. Maybe in three months from now, I'll look back and realize I made the wrong decision or that I should have ended things sooner, but I just can't. Look, I think you know what to do, you just can't confront- It's just fucking hard, I just can't do this. He's hurting you! I'm 
just trying to be helpful because I see you're in pain. No. Thanks to your help. How am I supposed to just support you when you continue to hurt yourself like this? Seriously, it can't be good. I just hate seeing you this way. Me too. Are you trying to tell me that you would say no to Ryan Gosling right now? Exactly. Can you stop that? Sorry. It's like literally just instinct. That, no, it's fine. I, it's just... I need to distract. Sorry. It's alright. I'm just really stressed out. It has to be perfect. I cannot let myself down. Yeah, I get that. Just stop. Maybe you could take a break from playing for a while. What do you mean? I just hate seeing you stressed. And I think if you took a break, it could be really good for you. Maybe. Can we pass the popcorn? Yeah. Classic popcorn and goldfish duo. <laughs> it's just the best. Yeah. I don't want to stop laughing. Okay, that's fine. Is it really? I'm sorry. What? I don't know, it's just like, seems like you want me to stop, so like, what's your case? What do you mean? Why do I need to stop? You don't need to do anything. I'm just trying to be helpful because I can see that you're in pain. Well, thanks for your help. What? I don't know. Whatever. It, it's... It's nothing. I'm trying. I know. And I'm sorry, it's just been a long day. But like, yeah, I, I think a break would be good. Some piano? Look, I would never tell you to stop playing piano because clearly it makes you happy. So then what? I just know I could never compete. Man, it's an inanimate fucking object. You know exactly oh. what I'm trying to say. What? It just sucks because I want to spend time with you, but I know I'm competing with this other thing, and I know we could both make you happy. It just sucks. Why is that, though? Because yeah. every time you go to play, it feels like you're taking a jab at me. <laughs> you know that's not true, and it doesn't... And I wish it didn't feel like that, but it does, and it would be so much easier if... If I didn't feel hurt constantly, but I feel hurt. Well, why wouldn't you just, like, say something? Say what? Say that the thing that makes you the happiest just so happens to be the thing that hurts me the most. How the fuck do I say that? I don't know, Dan. Maybe just come up to me and say and something. And then what? God, I don't know. Don't know what? I don't know anything. That's not true, Dan. Just say it. I don't know anything anymore. I think a break would be good. What? Mental things, I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna get right to it. Things are not good right now. Just pretty rough. My mind is stirring during the days and I'm up at night and my chest just hurts. 
No. All the Jenga pieces have fallen over and I have to pick them up. I can't tell if life fucked up or if I did. I know a good person like wouldn't say this, but I am a good person. Despite them both saying that I did nothing wrong, I'm still being punished. Why? Why? I lied to Jenna. Like, lied in a way. I, I was on the beach. I was laying there, and the sun was shining on my face. A wave of calm washed over my body. The ocean was beautiful. The seagulls flew. My mind was completely at ease, my problems non-existent. But I did not wake up in a peaceful bubble. I wasn't refreshed or enlightened. I sat on the beach and I started crying. I sat there crying because I knew that this world that I wanted didn't exist. The world that I yearned for was a non-existent utopia. <laughs> I have to live with that. You know what I realized the other day? We pinch ourselves in dreams because pain is reality. And reality is pain. No matter which way you look at it. That's a little pessimistic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What if we pinch ourselves because pain is reality, and reality is ever multifaceted and multidimensional, just as pain is? But isn't it easy to romanticize things, to assume that everything's just going to work out? I'm not saying my life is going to be miserable, but at some point I'm just going to have to confront that there's going to be pain, sadness, and sorrow. Life is filled with disappointment, and I just wish it wasn't. But isn't it through pain and disappointment that we grow? I'm done growing. For now, at least. You're right. I'm just tired. And that makes sense. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. Yeah. Maybe a change of focus will be good for me. Instead of trying to make yourself be happy, you should just try to make things feel normal. Or at the very least, okay. That's not very optimistic of you. No. I'm not saying that you'll never be happy. Or that you can't. Look, happiness doesn't work out the way you want it to sometimes. I mean, yeah. If it did, everyone would be happy all the time. Exactly. And at some point, things are going to get better. And someday, they're going to get worse. But you can't tell the future. So it's best to just take life for what it is, at face value. You're right. And life is not a dream. Life is real. Which means we have to feel all the negative emotions, but in exchange we get to feel joy and love. But when? You just have to trust that it will, even if that trust is blind. Thanks for your help. Thank you for coming today. Yeah, of course. Sure. How are things? Fine. I'm good, just busy. Uh, between work and the internship, there's not much free time. I think I just needed a second to step away from everything. Yeah, I'm sure that was good. I just wanted to apologize. I really don't like how things ended. Me neither. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. I don't really know what to say at this point. And that's okay. Look, I just wanted to put it out there that I think I got distracted and caught up in the moment. I get it. Dan and I haven't talked in a week. I'm sorry. 
and seeing him later today. Well, that's, that's good. Yeah. It should be nice just to figure everything out, work through this. I'm sure you'll be able to. Okay, so what's next? How do we fix this? I don't know. Well, I want things to be better. Me too. It doesn't really seem like that. I'm just conflicted. How are you conflicted? I don't know. I'm just trying to think of a world where about? this works out. Dan, oh, I'll be better. I, the semester's over. It's, it's summer. I, like, you know, I don't have lessons again until the fall. And then what? I don't know. And then we'll work around it or something else. How? And now I feel like this shitty person for making me want to stop playing piano, no, really, okay. which is bullshit because it shouldn't make me insecure, but it does, and I don't know how it won't. And I'm just gonna do I just can't. I just can't anymore. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sure I must have been a mess the past couple of weeks. No, really, it's so okay. just for breakfast, and I felt really bad. It's rough. Relationships are tough. And you just have to see it firsthand. Lucky me. Things will get better, Hayden. You sound like my therapist. It's just with Dan, it's it's just complicated. I know it is, but we'll say what you need to, and the rest will just settle naturally. What if he doesn't want to stay together? And he doesn't. Hayden, sometimes relationships just don't work out. We're not there yet. I'm just Sometimes the only thing you have to blame is life itself. Life's a really shitty thing to be mad at. I know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. That's the only thing we can do. Thanks for doing this in person. Yeah, sorry. It... I wish you nothing but good things. Me too. You know I'll literally always love you. Good. I love you too. Goodbye. See ya.